Good afternoon and good morning, Keller Williams family. We are, I say we, it's just me, myself, and I right now. Uh, but this is episode 15 of Labs Advisors Live for this season. And I have, you notice Peter's not here. And Peter's actually not going to be here today. I actually have a very special guest. Let's go ahead and bring him up here. DJ New Moon Smooth. What's yeah, up, man? Buddy? Yeah, how you doing? So you'll find us on the edge of the dial, 108, in the edge of the night. <laughs> All night for you in New York City Pirate Radio. <laughs> cool, smooth jazz. Keep you, company, uh, keep you safe. Keep you warm. <laughs> All through these nights that are lonely as a real estate agent. <laughs> Oh, you're killing me. All yeah. right. So, Spoof, it is Peter, but Peter is uh, a little under the weather, and he's his a, voice good. sounds horrible, mm. so he's making the best of it. So I've got I've got laryngitis. Oh, really? Which, for a podcast, is not <laughs> ideal, but oh. I have a new... I can do... Did you remember that song that was... Yeah. Whatever it was. I can get down there now. <laughs> Once there was a boom, boom. Do you remember it? <laughs> do, 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 do. That was Canadian, that guy. He had an amazing who, voice. Who was that? It wasn't live, right? Da, 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 da. I can't um, remember. Yeah. If, you know, it, if, if anybody out there is listening knows what we're talking about, then please let us know in the comments. I think it was a 1990s thing. So you probably have to be, about. You probably have to be a millennial. Like, I remember it. Yeah. It was Canadian, and it was a very good song, and uh, <laughs> real smooth and deep. <laughs> In your company all week. Oh, yeah. it's great, dude! You yeah. when you do that, your English accent goes away. Yeah, you I'm doing it on American. I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, Maybe that's how the American accent got going. Everyone got laryngitis. <laughs> There was no way of treating it. There was no CVS back then. No, there wasn't. On the shores of the Plymouth, whatever. No, they uh, they they took tonsils out with fishing hooks or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, oh I don't, man, I don't, I don't speak the same, man. What's going on? <laughs> right. Anyway, we, we, we must have too much fun. I've had to rearrange a few appointments today because I'm I'm in and out. I'm in and out. Yeah. I, um, I don't even know where I got this from. It's just like came out of nowhere i don't actually mix with human beings ever <laughs> no, so, you know. so i live in a virtual world where i train people on zoom all day long and i just stay in the same room 24 7 i even shared my location on my new iphone with brett and i bet it's never given you a single alert has it it's just he's no. still there still no. in the same location nothing's changed That's right. and then somehow this virus got into my house and attacked me it's like it a may, predatory virus. Oscar may have brought it to you. Could Cujo, be. that little Cujo dog of yours. Yeah, no, I, it it could be going to the supermarket or anything. You know, you know, when, I don't know if you do this when you're in the supermarket, mm -hmm. you're walking down the aisle and you'll see someone cough at the other end of the aisle. I turn round mm -hmm. and go back <laughs> out the way I came in and then go to another aisle, hoping that the yeah. AC will move the viruses away by the time <laughs> I need to get there. It's like, oh, I, it's uh, coughing. I'm moving. I'm glad that our supermarkets still have uh, the like antibacterial wipes and stuff out front. And I wipe my I I wash shopping carts more than I wash my car. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they, they they actually tested them with you know lab tests oh, and the geez. stuff living on those carts that you just I mean it's like the baby seat. My wife puts the thing forward and uses the baby seat to put fresh fruit on, and oh, I'm like, no. that's where diaper diapers have been. <laughs> For years, and no one's ever cleaned that part. And you're putting your bananas on it. <laughs> it's just don't. Anyway, oh, we must move man. on. Too much fun. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know if I can collect myself after all this. So <laughs> let's see. Um, let's bring us. <laughs> let's bring us back to the center with a culture moment. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I'll do a quick update. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we are on our beliefs, the Keller Williams belief system. And Peter, do you want me to read these for you to save your voice? Win-win or no deal. Integrity, do the right thing. 
My customers always come first. <laughs> Commitment in all things. Communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Teamwork, everything, everyone achieves more. I'm going to a notch. <laughs> Trust starts with honesty. <laughs> <laughs> did you oh god I, yeah put that up there vince just joined us and he said when did optimus prime join kw We're wow way too much fun it, vince, all uh, yeah peter's voice so, is gone it's it's in and out Op equity opportunities for all success results through people and so, always have a good time always have the thing is listen i i have to say a point because this is cultural right yeah so as an industry, we are getting attacked, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are being attacked. There are lawyers, there are industry bodies, there are certain groups of um, people that want to take a piece of the real estate industry, a big piece. Yeah. And it's a tricky time for all of us, right? But when you have this kind of adversity, humor really heals right you can keep yeah. going if you laugh you, can, you know laugh laugh as in southern laugh. english laugh as in northern english if you laugh you can you can actually get through a lot of um difficulties so i think as part of our overall um belief system we need to stick an extra one on the end which is to just keep smiling that's right we can color on always have fun yeah yeah, no, that's uh, definitely uh, laughter is the best medicine. It yeah. sure seems like, especially lately. So, uh, no, yeah, I love that. I don't know. Can we uh, can we appeal to uh, Gary or Mo and see if we can stick laughter in there somewhere? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, somehow I don't think it's going to happen. But. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'd have to find a place where it absolutely fits in, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to talk about uh, one so normally we go back and forth on this, you know, I'll ask you, you ask me which one really sticks out to you. And it's almost always communication for me. Seek first to understand because that applies in so many different places. However, we also talk about how these all kind of go hand in hand and they're meant to all work together. Uh, I am going to throw out a, a new one today, though, and that is teamwork, uh, especially for you and I, me amigo. Uh, the things that we've been working on and uh, the future looks bright and I'm excited about that. So I have a question for you. Yeah. I have never, I mean, I've only been with Keller Williams for what, three and a half years, I think mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. officially, like on board. I was mm -hmm. kind of virtually working here a little bit longer than that. So uh, screw you, past employer. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> creativity, right? Yes. So... There's some contradictions around, which I do appreciate and understand that you have to earn the right to be creative. In other right. words, you've got to run the systems and models and don't try and invent, reinvent the wheel because we know what works. But at yeah. the same time, right in our values and beliefs here, in our beliefs, we have creativity. Ideas before results. Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? What do they mean by, do you put ideas before results? Or do ideas come before you get results? Or... I, I'm not even sure what it means. So I would say, yes, the ideas come before the results, right? The ideas come and you implement those ideas and the results follow. That's the way I have always understood it. Right. Because my my greatest passion is creative thinking. Mm -hmm. And the way that I spark creativity is I take two existing things that have nothing to do with each other and I yeah. combine them. Yeah. So it might be using AI, right? Mm -hmm. And you see somebody else in another industry. It might be hotels. It might be travel. It might be cruise ships, whatever. Shout out to, uh, to Ariel. Ariel. <laughs> uh, it's a private joke. Sorry about that. Um, he loves his cruises. And um, yeah. so you take an idea that one industry is doing and doing well at a high level and bring it into real estate. Mm -hmm. And you put the two together. And you can actually create some really, really powerful things. So a lot of it, like um, Facebook groups. I don't see enough real estate agents creating a community Facebook group. 
If you True. created a community That's Facebook argument. group for mm -hmm. the community where you address things going on in, your, in that community, like right now we've got low pressure on our irrigation for some reason in this area. Mm -hmm. um, so all our yards are dying and it's like, what we're going to do about it, how we're going to fix it. We could come up with solutions. You could share links to Amazon where you've got these sprinkler heads that you could buy for cheap or we could get together. There's like different things that go on in these communities, but we don't really build them. Whereas the cruising community, is vast yeah. it's like they've, they've tens of thousands of people and they one person owns the community and then they sell them the tickets for the cruises so they're yeah. making all this money just by running a facebook group why are we doing that in real estate well right. absolutely it's definitely a uh an area where agents can capitalize right by creating a facebook group that builds community for whatever that is it could be something that you do differently from everybody else that you're known for it could be your own neighborhood that doesn't have necessarily a group yeah. or community page. It could, it could be, be it could be military military relocators. Yeah, yeah. right. Would be a cool one. Um, uh, downsizers, fifty five yep. plus. You could do really big national groups. Yeah, based on an, an affinity within those niches or niches, whichever it is. Yeah. Um, so this is what I'm saying about creative thinking. It, it, it often, if you go outside the industry and look what's worked and think, how does that apply? Because it's the same human beings, right? The, these sure. customers. Yeah. How can we bring that into real estate? So I think, you know, Facebook communities is a big deal. Um, anyway, part of what we're covering today, which you're going to demo adding community Yeah. Link. So that I, I see what so you did there with that hand, It goes that hand in hand. Right, yeah. we could uh, share that share those community links into community pages on Facebook. Yep. Invite everybody who lives in the area. Do a flyer, mm -hmm. door drop it, and say, "Hey, we've got a community for Sun Coast Lakes. Why don't you join our Facebook community?" It's a bit like um, next door, but doesn't stink, right? So <laughs> it's like, it's like next door without all the complaining neighbors, <laughs> virtual neighbors. Yeah. So oh, uh, I got to tell you, I I'm still on next door. I, I, I haven't advertised there in like probably four or five years. Uh, Cause I saw no return whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, I'm getting ready to get off of there completely. I have never, it, it, it might as well just be called Karen's.com. <laughs> and if anybody's named Karen, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you, but you know what that term means these days. So yeah. it's just, it's nonstop complaining. It's so negative. So, I, I mean, I don't know what it is about HOAs and all that stuff, but um, I got a letter from the HOA saying they're going to fine me $250 because there's a slight mark on my sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I paid $800 for these guys to come out and pressure wash everything. And I wanted the roof doing, and I didn't want to do the roof myself, right? I'm not going yeah. on the roof, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not spraying hydrogen peroxide or whatever it is all over myself. So I let other people do that. So anyway, I then get this this letter saying we're holding a, a in, you know, a, a investigative panel or something about this fine, and it's going to be on the 18th of April, which is tomorrow. You're welcome to come along. What what do, it. I feel like I don't know what I feel like. What you want me to go sit there where you tell me off for having a slight patch on my drive? And the reason the patch is there is because water flows naturally across my sidewalk at that point and it collects and then stains, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I'd have I'm to rebuild you, the ground. I'm glad so anyway. you clarified that because I was actually going to say that the reason that they were complaining about your sidewalk is because of the stain, and the stain was from the last nosy neighbor. It was the blood stains from the last yeah. nosy neighbor that pissed <laughs> yeah. you off. <laughs> so anyway, it's all good fun. Um, <laughs> but what I'm uh, saying is these community groups – can be like a pressure valve where people can talk about things and they can learn, educate, but we can create links and resources for mm -hmm. those groups so that they're engaging with us when they're coming to buy or sell real estate. Yeah, and we so can direct the conversation so that we keep it more positive than say next door. Well, you, you can. Well, they they have automated AI um, like admin reader. now. Admin, yeah, and uh -huh. you can certain keywords. You can block the posts. Yeah. Um, they'll soon move to intent where it reads the post and then it, it works out like the, ciphers the intent is this. Yeah. And then, yeah. It, and then it'll say, review this post. So there's, there's a lot of good stuff going on with it. Anyway, we must plow forward. Yeah. Let's so let's plow forward. That. So here's what we're going to do today. We are going to show you how 
uh, to convert your blog post, because a lot of us aren't even using the blog post. If you are, you can kind of co-mingle. And those of you that are uh, really involved in blogging and stuff, you'll understand how you can kind of co-mingle the two. But what we're going to show you and and what we're going to show you is if you're not really utilizing the blog post, let's turn that blog into community pages. So there is one key feature that those people that are using, say, Brivity or Boom. <laughs> oh, gosh, he's killing, he's killing me. I love it when Orsini is with us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, blogs. I'm so excited. For those of you that know our buddy Chris Orsini, <laughs> he thinks that blogs are absolutely 100% totally useless in this day and age. And maybe that is what subconsciously led me to do something like this with the blog post because I hear Chris in my ear saying, do something different with it because blogs suck. <laughs> okay. Well, I I, I want to I wanna chime in here. <laughs> so... Chris Arsini is correct. He is. If you create a blog and you put it on your page and you spend hour upon hour making it really readable and lots of information, great images, facts, links, wonderful. You spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Nobody will read it. You right. have to promote it. Yeah, absolutely. So it has value if you promote it. Yes. So, Creating a blog per se is a complete waste of time. Creating a blog with a promotional campaign behind it has immense value for conversion. So, sure. Laurie Ballon. Especially with our SEO rich websites. Laurie right. Ballon, $20,000 yeah, a month. Absolutely. Right, from yeah. sponsored links. Yep, I've been okay. a Laurie Ballon fanboy for as long as I can remember. Pretty much, let's see, I think I first discovered her in the Keller Williams system in 2011 or yeah. something like that. Yeah, so and, she's got it. She's got it. But yeah. what I was saying to Chris the other day was there are YouTube channels about niche topics, mm -hmm. right? Uh, one of them that I'm buried in at the moment is how to get power in your house when there's a hurricane. So okay. should I use a gas generator or should I buy one of those battery solar things, get some solar mm -hmm. panels? I'm not talking a full solar system, I'm just talking right. a battery backup with a, a thing. So anyway, there's so much information. It's so confusing and so conflicting. And just like one person will say one thing. It'd be really nice if there was a blog that had the facts with a spreadsheet type layout that's compared all the units that are on the market at the moment, right. what they do, what, you know, and basically, because like for Florida, we need something a lot more powerful than you need up in Michigan. Right? Well, yeah, for sure. Because yeah. our power outages last for three weeks. Or more. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a different ball game yeah. to three hours. So anyway, my point is a good, well-written blog on its own is useless. A well-written blog linked to a YouTube video is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Even more powerful is sending traffic from cheap sources like Meta, Facebook, Instagram, yep. to your blog. And then when you put in your blog exit pages, so they read the blog and then they exit out into your ecosystem, which could be mm -hmm. your KW app. It could be a particular, which is what we're going to show in a minute, community searches yep. um, or anything else, you know, related to what you're trying to do. So I <laughs> I agree with Chris, but I think there's a, there's a second part that makes things worthwhile. And I, uh, the other thing, it's like I was working on an agent's site today, mm -hmm. and um, she wants to brand the site. Well, the only way you can brand a Keller Williams site is to put blogs on it. Yeah, uh, right. So she's putting her military affiliation. She's putting her um, financial services. She's an author. She writes books. She's putting those on there. She is a major golfer. She's just been golfing in Thailand and plays in like the masters and stuff and that's really big wow. on golf so that's going in there so we're creating the brand of the agent by using blogs that then go on the front page of the website so i do i do think it has value um but i get it i get chris's viewpoint entirely yeah uh so it, it, you have to utilize it right uh like you said so um there's a lot that goes behind it uh and in the grand scheme of things for most most agents most realtors they don't want to be content writers. So uh, so we're going to show you how to turn those into community pages. So let's do that.
All right, let's jump in here and bring up command. So I am in my dashboard and I am going to put my old man glasses on because I am becoming an old man. And I'm going to jump into consumer. And then I'm going to go to edit my website. And then are you, are you doing team or personal? Uh, I'm going to work in my team, but it works either way. Okay. Right? Yeah, I'm going to work in my team site, though. Uh, all right. So I'm going to explore on my own. Thank you very much. And I want to show, I want to demonstrate what it's going to look like that I'm talking about. So I have been doing some customization to uh, our team website that my wife and I have. And you'll notice featured properties here. Now, these first two are ones that I've added. And what's cool about the featured properties is you can add your own in the beginning of this list, and then you can actually have the others provided by search parameters. So I like doing a mixture of both. So I start with actually our listings, and then there's more that follow that are within search parameters that I've set up. Have you noticed a common theme on them? Uh, Price what? drops. Oh yeah, price drops, yep. So I was with an agent on a call uh, about two hours ago before mm -hmm. I had an episode of coughing <laughs> and um, we pulled up all the listings in the area that have got had a price drop in the last seven days and there's hundreds of them hundreds yeah, yeah the market kind of is the market thing, is shifting right? yeah, yeah the, the, sure. the sellers are recognizing the buyers pa buying powers down mm -hmm. so you're seeing these these relative you know some of them are big so fifty thousand off one and yeah uh, there was there was one in our office a hundred grand mm -hmm. Yeah, remember, remember the days not too long ago of getting a hundred thousand dollars over your list price. Now we're yeah. dropping, yeah, hundred thousand. Uh, all right, let me get this out of the way. And then, so what happens now is after I get past the featured listings, this for most people is going to say my blog, our blog, blog, something like that. And I have changed it to say Southwest Florida Real Estate and Information. Search real estate for sale in all the areas that we cover throughout Southwest Florida and learn about the communities we serve, including school information, restaurants, shopping, hotels, parks, attractions, and more. I can what it, what it should really say is what you can do with stolen pallets. <laughs> build a bridge. Yeah, you build your own. Um... I know this is, this is like the worst looking fishing pier. I told you I hate this photo. <laughs> Those, those lights look so out of place. They're like really expensive lights this hanging off these. We do in Port Toilet. We just, we just grab pallets off the side of the road and build docks to fish off yeah. of. Um, okay. So I've created a blog post then that is actually a community page, and it's Port Charlotte, comma, FL. That is SEO on purpose. Uh, so Port Charlotte, Florida homes and real estate for sale. The description. Uh, I've added that as well. And when I click on this on read more, it's actually going to bring me into that blog post, but now it's going to read more like a community page. And, and here, here are these magical buttons that Peter wants to learn how to make. And so we're going to do that. But what I've done is I've created one click search links for your consumers to be able to quickly go find a home in a certain price range. Now, this is a key feature that a lot of people love about their Boomtown, Brivity, other websites that are out there. It's these quick search links that they love about those websites. They may not even use everything that's with that. In fact, most agents probably use 10% at best of those websites they're paying $1,000 or more a month for. And we can create something similar. Does it look identical? No, of course it doesn't. However, we can create something that is still very useful and kind of mimic that, that uh, situation in those other websites. Yeah. So if I I'm going to answer a question yeah. that I'm sure people are asking. You can also customize the menu at the top of the page to have yeah. those search drop downs. So you could have search um, communities at the top and then a drop down below it with all the um community links on there as well so they don't have to visit the blog to see those links you could you could embed them at the top of the page as well so, yeah yeah so we get can your mctt if not rtt if not call us and we'll help you do that yeah so what peter's talking about and peter i actually had that here but i've been uh 
experimenting with the website so much that I got rid of it to figure out some other things. Yeah. But yeah. I could have a page up here that says, or a navigation menu item up here that says communities. And when it drops down, these would be the choices of your communities, or they could be the yeah. quick one, you know, the one click link. So yeah. lots call, of different ways. Quick links, you know, mm -hmm. like quick, quick search links. Yep. Um, and there's a feature coming, which I'm not allowed to mention, that was going to work in, hand in hand with this. Um, that's going to be absolutely awesome. We will yeah. be talking about that as soon as it's released. We will. So that's so just a little teaser, silent teaser, keeping yeah. my uh, non-disclosure agreement solid. That's right. Know that the KW Tech team is always yeah. working for us to improve everything. So there are some cool updates coming. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you will also notice that when I click on one of these, it opens in a new tab or uh, window, depending on how you have your browser set up. And that is on purpose. Now, if somebody has a pop-up blocker on, is that going to be a problem? Yes. However, pop-up blockers these days are not really uh, as abundant as they used to be as far as becoming an issue. Uh, so a pop-up blocker would have to be turned off. But this is done for a very specific reason. So as a customer, let's say that I click on Poor Charlotte Homes for Sale 300 to 400. I open this up and I look at the homes that are here and like this. Let's just say that I hate the way this looks on the outside. So when I click on this and I realize that I don't like it, it's hideous, whatever the case may be, I close that window Guess what? It's hideous. My website is still That's my website is still open behind it. If I had this link open without opening a new tab, and the consumer saw something in a, a picture of a house or something they didn't like, and they X'd out of it, they closed that tab. Your website is gone probably forever in in their mind, right? So I purposely set up my links to open in a new tab. Uh, it's done with absolute intentionality. Uh, so you see, I got all these quick links here and then I've got information about the area so that it reads more like a community page. Now I can also add, this is something that I'm working on, but if I go to greatschools.org, which is a pretty popular website to get school information, then I can also add that to these community pages too. So what do you say we build one? Oh, wait. Vince, Vince has something for us. What do we got over here? Uh, Vince, do you find doing these one-click searches here in the blog? Uh, we just answered that. Yeah, um, you can you can do them either way. And I th do you find doing these one? I think he means it, do you find them better one way or the other? Uh, I might actually have both to answer that question, Vince. I think by the time I get done with this website, yeah, okay, I figured that's what you were asking. So I am I will build them out both ways. I want the community pages because I want the extra information, but then I'll also have a menu item, like Peter said, I, I used to have it, I just have it hidden right now because I'm working on other stuff. Uh, but I would have a uh, property search <laughs> button <laughs> the upper navigation that when you click on it, these one click searches are there. So uh, I have done both scenarios and I think the ultimate end result of the website would have both options because we want to give consumers what they want. And if they have an option, depending on which one they like better than the other, then we're meeting their needs. And that's the idea. So great question. Thank you for that. Uh, okay. Let's build one. Uh, I have, Peter, can uh, you guess who um, I'm using as my ghostwriter for these awesome community pages? I imagine it may be a AI. It is. It would be my buddy, Chad GPT4. Yep. Uh, all right. So we are going to go to, now I'm going to show you how we can make these changes, okay? So I'm going to go to blog page and... When this loads, you're going to see that you have the word blog here. So if I drop this down, I can change the title here to be 
Southwest Florida, like I talked about, and I actually have a document here to make things easy for me so I can copy and paste, but I don't know where it went. So let me just check real quick. Um, all right. Uh, let me jump back and into the editor, and we're just going to say Southwest Florida real estate. Articles. Mm, no. <clears throat> Southwest Florida real estate uh, searches and information. I don't know. I'm just going to say it like that for now. You didn't like my idea then? I, I, I didn't because I don't really want it to read his articles. Okay. And I'm sorry for the beeping on my uh, computer. I have no idea what is doing that. Strive that beep, that so. beeping is your chat bot trying to get you to engage. Oh, well, that's annoying. So how do I turn that off? Because it's driving me nuts. You can mute the window that so you've got it opening. But anyway, I won't worry about it right now. Yeah, it's not, you can have to hear it. Can I? So while we're on the topic, can we program it so it doesn't do that? Drive me crazy. All right, we'll talk about that later. You, in all honesty, you want it to do it because it doesn't yeah. drive the customer crazy. They're just on there, and then it's trying to make you engage. Okay. It's like, okay. Right. Um, from training purposes, I'm going to turn it off or throw it out the window. Uh, all right. Um, and then. Um, remember, we're at New York City Jazz all night long. <laughs> keeping calm, keeping cool. Uh, okay. Um, so right, I'm going to go into the. I'm going to go into the back end and fix it. Just give me a second Thank while you're you. doing that. Driving me nuts. Uh, um, okay. So I'm going to steal that from where it was before, and then we're going to paste that in here. Controls. So now you can see I've written my description. You will see everything change over here in my little snapshot. This is showing me a preview of what's going on. And so all that looks good to me. I am good with that. We're going to save. And now... We're going to create a community page. So I already have Port Toilet, uh, Port Charlotte in there. Sorry, I'm from here, so I can say that. Uh, and I'm going to read, let's see, I want to save this too. Always hit every save that you can just to be sure that it saves. Hit every single one of the 10 save buttons that are here so that you know that it's saved. All right, and then I'm going to return to my dashboard. And now I'm going to create a blog post. So I have a quick start widget here for a blog post. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. And then that's going to bring up a headline, subheadline, all this stuff, the body of the text, all that. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to pull this down for a second so that I can find that document that I created before. All right. So, Your beeping will have stopped now. Thank you so much. That was driving me insane. Uh, it's amazing what you can do remotely. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, all right. So I'm in chat GPT, uh, and that's actually where I have this. I thought that I had put it in a Google Doc, but are I you, are you meant to be screen sharing? Yet. Sorry. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna. I'm. I'm trying to find an image that I'm going to use too. So let's go find an image. And I'm intentionally not screen sharing. So give me just a second. Get into my drive and find a photo that's going to work. Thank you for fixing that, Peter. Um, I normally don't get sidetracked too easy, but that was driving me crazy. Uh, <laughs> All right. So in this mess of files that I have, <clears throat> one of the good things, since we have a little bit of an audience here, uh, I'm always going to mention this as often as I can. Uh, your kw.com email is awesome for the fact that it gives you so much storage on Google Drive, which as far as we know is unlimited. Uh, and my Google Drive is definitely un <laughs> unlimited because it takes me forever to find anything in here. 
Uh, all right. So I got this and do do. Here we go. And I have some cool pictures in here. Yes. Awesome. So I'm going to copy this. And go to my desktop. Paste it there. So it's going to be fine. Cool. All right. Good to go. So let's bring this back up. And I'm going to show you what I've already created. I will read the prompt too so that you can uh, kind of discover what that prompt might look like. All right. So using ChatGPT for Peter and I do use uh, ChatGPT Plus, which is the paid version. It's $20 a month. And as a real estate agent, it is by far the best $20 a month you will ever spend because of the kind of time that it saves you in so many different ways. All right. So my prompt was, please write me a 15... Always say please so that when the robots take over, hopefully you'll be one of the last ones that they... You know, all right. So please write me a 1500 word blog post about Punta Gorda, Florida for a real estate agents website. The blog should start with an <laughs> overview of Punta Gorda, its geographic location, population, and demographics, then include the history of Punta Gorda, how it was discovered, its early development, include information about its waterways and golf courses. Lastly, include information about its growth, public parks, numerous boat ramps, and shopping areas like Fisherman's Village and its historic downtown. Be sure to recommend at least five great restaurants and include menu suggestions. Please provide links to any websites that you reference. Write in the style of a travel magazine. So that was an important one for me. And then this is one that I learned from Peter. Provide H1 and H2 formatting. So that's header one and header two formatting. And it is awesome when you do that. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you don't. So when you ask it to provide H1 and H2 formatting, you're going to see I get this awesome bold H1 text here. I have all my H2 text here. And if you don't do that, you end up with something like this that massive difference well it is a massive difference and i'll tell you what too so it's it does kind of separate it as kind of a subheader but when you copy and paste this from here when you copy this from chat gpt it puts three asterisks before the header and after the header it's annoying it's weird so i don't know if it's going to do it with the h1 and h2 we're about to find out all right so i am just going to go in here and <clears throat> copy this. So down here at the bottom of the output, I can hit copy. And then we're going to go over here to my blog post. And I'm going to copy or paste all that in. All right. So, yeah, see the... Um, okay. So just try it another way. Go and highlight it and copy it. All right, but in the dark theme, it tends to uh, give me all of the... Uh, oh, yeah, change the change light theme. Okay. So, where'd he go? There he is. I'm going to go to my settings, change the theme to... Oh, that's no. good. Ooh. I know, right? Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a badly good. position. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like Whoa, that at all. We need to tell that. Nah, crazy, crazy, well, crazy. Let me, let me point something out, too. This brings up a very good point. I almost just deleted my entire history of ChatGPT because of the way that button just no, popped keep up. Move your mouse away from it. I know, I know, right? <laughs> but I want to... <laughs> Vince is hilarious. <laughs> uh, too funny. Yes, Vince, so did I <laughs> a couple of times. Um but I want to point this out because there has been some frustration over the years about trying to delete a contact or, you know, delete this or whatever in command. It is intentionally designed not to be as easy as what I almost just did. And I would have been a very, very upset and uh, sad uh, individual. X out of that now. Yeah. <laughs> it's driving Peter crazy. He's like, hurry up. Get right, out of that. Right. We're just going to highlight it and copy it now and see, yeah. if, he, see if he gets rid of the asterisk. Okay, so I'm going to go down like this. 
works. The reason I had to change to the light theme is because if it's dark theme, it actually puts the dark borders behind each line of text. So I'm going to copy that and we'll go back over here and we will paste this in. Maybe there it goes. Yes. Awesome. Peter. Thank you for that. Um, did I miss something though? I think you missed a paragraph. I think I did. Okay, so back to chat. But at least there's no asterisk. That is true. No, I did, but for some reason it didn't do the H1 header. But that's okay. I can fix it. Uh, so I can go like this, and we'll highlight this. Ta da! And then I can make that bold. And you can make it H1, I think. Yeah, I know. Right there. Where? Right here. Yep. Yeah. Right. No, not there. No. Format, format. format there format. it is. Yeah. That ain't it. It's only giving you H2 and H. Ah, I did the whole paragraph. Okay. So I'm going to come back and fix that. That was a user error on my fault. But uh, to save time, uh, I'm just going to move on here. So that is how we would get the text over here. And then I also want to bring in this. So what did I call the Port Charlotte page? That was Port Charlotte. Okay, so Punta Gorda, Florida, homes and real estate for sale. So that's what we're going to give it for the headline. I'm only here for the buttons. I know you are, and it's driving you crazy this day. It's going to be like one of the last things I do in real estate for sale. All right. And then my sub headline is going to be Punta Gorda, Florida, information and property searches. Okay. So then we're going to say Punta Gorda, Florida, information and property searches all right and then a hero image so let's throw a hero image in here i want an image now i have not tried video but as far as i know the video works uh i just don't have a video to put in there uh, so i'm just going to use an image for now and so do you only get a choice of like superman and spider-man <laughs> what am I missing? And hero images. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I got some for that. <laughs> Good one, Peter. Good one. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go over here and I need to upload an image. And new image. Yep, new image. Thank you. You just witnessed a BM. That that's known as a Brett moment. All right, new upload. I'm gonna choose, and we're gonna go to desktop and choose this one. And I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. Let's see, all sizes. Peter, you want to talk about this since we just went through this? Yes. Yeah, so if you scroll, no, don't don't mess with that. Just leave that. Okay. Leave, leave that. that. Okay, so yeah. it's probably good the way it is for what I need in this situation, right? Right. Well, click click save. Yep. Got it. And then examine your image. Okay. To see if it's is cropped in the preview. So you want to you want to do back now? Back. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to save this again. You've already saved it. All right. Well, just because I said that. <laughs> I'm saving it again. That's the paranoia <laughs> kicking in. It, it is. <laughs> yeah, now you've locked the whole thing up, look. <laughs> there you go. All right. So here it is for me. Yeah. Right. Click that. Mm -hmm. Right. Now scroll to the bottom. Where? Over here? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, right, right. It's finally appeared. Actually, you don't need to do anything. It no, looks... I don't. It came through good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Awesome. It's only if, if you're using portrait images, they sometimes clip mm -hmm. in this template, and there is an override yep. that you can um, 
change the styling to incorporate a taller image if you need it. Cool. So I do want to let everybody know to take advantage of these. In the interest of time, I am not going to, but alt text, put SEO keywords in there. Caption, put SEO keywords in there. Do that. It has to make sense because it will show some of that. But like Fisherman's Village, Punta Gorda, Florida, I might I would put that in here because it's actually going to give me some SEO for people. This is a pretty popular landmark. There's more, there's more than that as well. It's technically a requirement because mm -hmm. for um, ADA compliance, yeah, okay, you have to have alt text because that's what their software reads when it's describing an image to a awesome. person who's blind. Good to know. I did not know that. Okay, so I have that now. Oh. I want to. Yeah, what? There was an audio glitch. You sounded like Mickey Mouse for a second. Oh, weird. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create these buttons that we were talking about. So, Ooh. I know, right? This is Peter's excited now. All right, so this is going to be Puna. Puna? It is Puna. It is not Punta unless you're Spanish. It is Puna. If you are a local from here, it is Puna Gorda, like punning a football. It's Puna. Otherwise, it's Puna Gorda if you're of, you know, Latin descent, whatever the case may be. You speak Spanish. That is what you would say. Do you know what it means, Peter? Fat Point. It does. It means Fat Point, which is also an awesome local brewery here. But it's actually Fat Point. It's the right. English version. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Punta Gorda Homes, and we're going to say 100 to 200. I wish there aren't any. Maybe not in Punta Gorda. There's probably, yeah. well, because of the hurricane and also with the, the shifting market, things have changed. There's lots. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to my website. And I'm going to search as if I was a consumer. I'm going to come in here and go to Punta Gorda. If I spell it right. All right. And then there's the city. So I'm going to choose that. And then that's going to bring me into my search. And I am going to change the filters. So I'm going to go to the filters. And the only thing I'm concerned with here is price range. So I'm going to go 100 to 200. And then watch it laugh at me. Nope, 43 results. Look at that. Uh, but I do want property type, right? So I'm going to end up changing the property type because my link is for houses. I'm not really all that interested in like displaying a bunch of buttons for lots and things like that. So I'm not getting into that. So put minimum one bed houses. plus. Put minimum that, one. If you put one bed plus, it'll get rid of the land. Yeah, but I just I choose it here so that I don't have condos either. Oh, I hate you. You could do it Peter's way and then have condos and houses. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, and look at that. No results, but that's good to know, right? All right, so then let's bump this. Uh, I love being right. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, all right, so let's take this to 300 and this to 200 and apply. And now we have a couple. There's still a condo in here, which is weird. I don't know why that's going That means they put it in the MLS wrong. Yeah. All right. So now what I want to do and what you'll see is when I adjust these filters, it actually builds out the URL of this page across the top here. You'll see those filters in there. So there's uh, search for sale, Punta Gorda, and my price range, 200 to 300. Property subtype is house, if you could see the rest of that. So as long as there are properties that fit within these requirements, this will never be a dead link on your website. It will always uh, be an active link as long as there's properties that fit those search parameters. Uh, and it also so, updates, so it's not. Mm -hmm. it, right. it, it's 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 uh, evergreen. Exactly. So I am going to copy that, and we're going to come back to the blog post, and I want to highlight this like that. And we're going to make this a link. Okay. And it is going to be external. Even though it's another page on my website, it needs to be external. Because when you select internal, it's only looking for blog pages. All right. 
And then I'm going to go down here to the URL and we're going to paste that in. So there's my URL. You ready, Peter? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Advanced. <coughs> I got new tab and window. At, that's not what I wanted. Nope. I'm ready. I'm glad you're ready because I'm not. Obviously, styles is what I wanted. Button. See that? So I just go to styles, and then there's a button there. Link enhancement B. So now, and again, remember, we wanted to open in a new window or tab. You can change this to same window or tab, but I don't recommend it. So I leave it on new window or tab and then hit save and close. And we should see the button, and I don't know why we don't. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's on the preview. Oh, on yeah, the right. It's on the page. Okay, right. So it's the translation from here. You're only going to see the text in the editor. But if we look over here on the snapshot of the page, then so I, I have there. a question for you. Yeah. If you highlight that mm -hmm. whole thing, copy it and put it to the, like, just highlight all that and copy it. Okay. What I want to do is see if you can put a button side by side. Yeah, I tried. It just makes one long extended button. Well, let's just try. So um, copy that. Okay. Then uh, click away, then do a space, and then paste it again. Look at you. Nice. So when, I, when I did it, see? Teamwork. There's the, This is exactly why <laughs> that's becoming my new favorite of the Y4C2Ts, teamwork. I love it, Peter. So this is going to look a lot more right. aesthetically pleasing. Highlight, highlight that all. Oh, hold hold on. Let me show the difference, right? Because this is why Peter wanted to do that. If you go back and look at the original page that I have here, it is not very aesthetically pleasing because it's just a long list of buttons. So Peter wants to get like, you know, two or three across. Yeah. And so what I like to do now is we can centralize them. So highlight them both. Okay. Got it. All right. Click the um, spacer thing. What spacer thing? Left, left, left. There. That. No. Back. Go up. Up. Uh, left, okay. Got left, you. left. 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 Yeah, left. That one. Yeah. Do center. center. Does it do anything? Yeah, it just did. Yeah, perfect. Maybe it's taking a little bit. Um, so cool. Yeah, that's how we do that. Now, obviously, I need to change the second one, right? Because um, I actually need to change both of these. So if I go in here and yeah, I need to edit to 300, this, right? 200 to 300. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't lose anybody here, but we wanted to discover this. Uh, yeah. So if you copy and paste a load of them, you can then just edit them yeah. rather than having to type it all in again. Exactly. So then this one, we're going to make 300 to 400. So I'm going to change the text on this 300 to 400 and then just okay. edit the link. And I need to update the link. So I'm going to go back to my website and you can just adjust the price. Yeah. Do I have, okay. No, I can't because I lost, I got poor Charlotte on here now. All right. So let's go back to Punta Gorda. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a live BM Brett moment yeah. right there. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're gonna change this to four hundred and three hundred. Apply, and now I'm gonna hit copy on this, and then this is what Peter's talking about. You can actually go ahead, paste them all out, and then just update the link. So now if I click on this, I can edit the link. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to change this link right here. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that one. You know what you could do? Let's save a load of time. You could just change the 300 to 400 right in the link. Oh, uh, yeah, I could, right? Because that's the only thing that's changing. Yeah, yeah. So very good point. You could just paste the same thing and then just change each of the price mm -hmm. points in the link itself. Link so and text, what? yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it done a lot quicker. Yeah. So if I go like this now... What if I go like this? 
and hit control C and then go to the next line and hit control V. It's not centralized, but you can you can center it. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the preview to catch up and see what it does. Maybe. <coughs> Hello? Are you going to do something? Uh, so anyway, then I would continue to create these buttons, right? What, what I was trying to do here was to see if... Um, it would allow me to do it that way. Just press, by enter. press enter. Do you think that's why? Yep, there it goes. Let's see what we get. You see, you got to press oh, enter to update. That. Right, so you just okay. want to center, center it yeah. now. So now I can go like this. And then, and then you can, you can just going to center that. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to edit the text and then we will edit the link like peter said so we're going to go to four and then we're going to go to five and then we'll jump into the link and all i have to do is find the price point in the link so right here okay and then we're going to change this to four and we're going to change this one to five excuse me hit save and close all right, and then on this one, we're going to go to five and six, edit the link. And then the next link is boomers only. <laughs> for the for the above six. Yeah, just put boomers only. <laughs> Great. Age verification uh, required to proceed. What was I doing here? Five and six? Yeah. Yeah. Five and... So I think what we should do is test this now. Yeah. And make sure that our theory is... Okay. Um, so so you could... one thing I've noticed with the editor, too, is if you have a whole bunch of space here, it still only provides that little bit of space. So... um. You see what I'm saying? I've got all this big space between the buttons and the text in the editor, but over in the preview, it's yeah, but it looks fine. Kind of formatted the way that I want it to be. Yeah, it's the way that I want it to be. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's publish this. There's a new feature, by the way. What's that? Dynamic blogs. So you, remember, you had to go into the menu and then go to the home page and then edit the blog module and manually add your blogs. Yeah. They now have dynamic blogs, so it will automatically put your latest blog in position number one and move position one to two and so forth. So And it pulls them dynamically, so you don't have to keep adding them. Awesome. A silent release. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, now... Here's the thing. So that is important because the way that you want to display your community pages, especially if it's commingled with blogs, right? So um, it's something to think about how they're organized. Uh, all right. So now let's go to the website and I'm going to go back to the home page. Super pro tip. If you don't know pretty much any website, if you click on the logo in the top left corner, it will bring you back to the home page of that website. Yeah. That is almost any website. So it, it may not be there unless you've got dynamic on. So let's just see. So this is the most recent yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. So you have got dynamic on. So you see how mm -hmm. it's inserted it in there? Yeah. And replace the pallet bridge with your fisherman's. <laughs> That's right. Bridge. Yep. So now we can see Southwest Florida real estate and information. Here's the description that we put in there. And then here is my photo. So I can click on the photo or I can click on read more. It's all yeah, that's a really old picture because the building's blue now. I know they painted it. And it you looks know, a lot no, nicer. Nobody knew that if you hadn't said anything. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? You think it looks better now? No, it looks better now. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I agree. It's classier looking before. Um, it was uh, everything was a different color, almost like a Bahamian village. Um, all right. So we're going to click on this. And now it brings us into that blog post, which is a community page. And now when I scroll down, here's my buttons. And boy, do they look a lot better. I bet I can get three in here. Now, Peter, the thing is, what does it look like on mobile? Uh, you can test it. Just by shrinking the page? 
Yeah, but um, they should stack under each other on mobile, I think. Okay. So we'll test that and see what that looks like. Can you test it from your... Um, I'll grab my cell phone. phone. Yeah. So the bishopgroup.kw.com. And then we're going to test the links that we created. That takes us to Ponagordo Homes 300 to 400, which is perfect. This one takes us to Ponagordo Homes 400 to 500, which is perfect. You can see here's my filter right here as well in the city. And then houses. Those are the three filters that we chose. It's yeah, stuck. looks good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So works on mobile too, which is fantastic. We hadn't tested that yet. And then uh, if I go to... Yeah, and the 500, 600's working great. So that's a really cool. quick way of doing it. Just edit yeah. the links. Yeah. Cool, man. <clears throat> Saves loads of time. Absolutely. So that is how you can turn your blog into community pages. What do you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? And Peter, mm -hmm. thanks for your help on, on that um, because I did not like aesthetically how it looked when they were all stacked. And what I had done before was I continued the text line and, and then made it a link and it it just extended that one button so the key is to copy the line right copy that link that line of text give it a couple of spaces paste it in and then it'll create a new button so go back and watch that part if you if you don't know what i'm talking about because i don't even think i made sense just now <laughs> it did uh but that is a really cool feature these websites are awesome they really are uh from from someone who's been with Keller Williams for 14 years and been in every version of the Market Center Tech Trainer role before it was an official role. I was an ambassador and a director of technology and tech ambassador and market leader ambassador, what, all those different things. Uh, this is the best website that we've had. The SEO is rich. We can do a lot. Of, now, think what, what the key is here is value, right? It is always always value yeah like like chris said uh let's throw this up here so i love that you're using blogs as a value add and not a lead funnel and that's that's exactly it chris right is we're we're turning the uh the blog feature of the website into something seo rich that has to do more with the value added to the consumer experience with how a consumer navigates the website. And again, like I said, agents are spending $1,000 or more a month on some other websites out there just because they like these one-click community pages. And we can recreate that same experience in the new KW agent and team websites. I say agent and team because I'm operating in a team website. It is exactly the same functionality for your solo agent website the only difference between the two is that there's like some more team marketing options and things like that but otherwise the functionality everything that we just did can be done on your solo agent website as well uh yeah that was cool huh are you happy you you, you discovered the buttons now peter it was really simple yes, i am <laughs> You're probably uh, mad that you waited so long for me to I'm, fade, I'm, I'm fading fast though it's going to be a yeah. lie down in a minute i'm just uh <laughs> i'm rough feel rough all right. Well, I hope you feel better. We are, we're right up on time and I'm pretty sure that brought a lot of value to everybody out there today. So, uh, I thank you for tuning in and great info. Thank you. We've both inspired Facebook user to spend some time adding value to the team's website. Awesome. We'd love that we were able to do that for you and bring you some value today. Uh, like Peter and I always say, your MCTT can help you with this. If you don't know who your MCTT is, you have a regional tech trainer. So MCTT, market center tech trainer. So that's your tech trainer at the market center level. And then you have your regional tech trainer. If you don't know who the MCTT is, and if you don't know who either of those people are, reach out to Peter or myself or any labs advisor that you know, and we will get you uh, hooked up with the right person to help you with things just like this. 
All right, Peter, feel better, buddy. Um, go uh, play some more sounds of smooth jazz, and we'll see you next time. Yep, keeping it cool now, night long. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See. You.